We were told by a master plumber it's not about piping or tubing, it's more about regulation and education. He's concerned about the state's new decision. The pipes in this backyard are not supposed to be sticking out. So they're supposed to be like inside the, the brick. The brick. Brothers Raymond and Robert Salceda hired a plumber. They say he was unlicensed. He did everything and all. I called him back and he never answered. The Salceda brothers are now trying to manage the plumber's faulty work. When it gets cold, I have to cover them up because it'll, the, the pipe will freeze. The Southsiders are not the only ones stuck with bad repairs. So I've been in houses where a handyman or a wannabe plumber has done some work there. And I see all the mistakes there are done. They call me up and say, uh, there's a lot of sewer gas smells. On September 1st, the state of Texas will abolish the Texas State Board of Plumbing Examiners. This means plumbers do not have to be licensed by or register with the board to contract for or perform work under the state law. We showed Master Plumber Rudy Rodriguez the state of Texas release. I'm very concerned for the health of all the citizens of the state of Texas. We need plumbers that are licensed, that are know what they're doing. Rodriguez has worked in the Valley. He has been licensed and certified since 1981. He says there needs to be a licensing agency. Now leave it up, you know, up in the air. Anybody can do plumbing. That's not it. That's not going to work. It never has worked and never will work. He plans on joining other licensed plumbers at the state capitol to try to change things. And I invite all the plumbers to please attend. We need numbers there. Rodriguez says ask plumbers if they were licensed and if they have insurance. The Salceda brothers say they will do the extra work pay more money and cover their pipes. The board is considering creating a database and list all licensees so the public will know they were licensed at one time. In Westlaco, Angelo Vargas, Channel 5 News, this weekend.